Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Neculescu and you know me for a lot of connectors for uh, UAPAD, for Salesforce, uh, ServiceNow, Jira, Confluence and so on. Yeah, We did also a lot of videos with integration. Yeah, So how to start a UAPAD robot from ServiceNow, Salesforce, NetSuite, uh, Power Automate uh, and so on, Grovy and so on. Today we'll talk about how to start a UAPAD robot from Node.js. Why I use this Node.js? Uh, it's uh, to test JavaScript, yeah? And you'll see that further in uh, some videos, we'll use uh, uh, this JavaScript to, to, call, um, uh, to call from other software, yeah? But we'll test it with uh, Node.js, yeah? As usual, when I do the, um, uh, the testing, the starting of the process, I have a cloud on a cloud, uh, I have the cloud orchestrator and I have, um, Two processes, MSG as Christian and MSG Param, that has more, uh, parameters. Okay. Now, before uh, you go to this movie, uh, please watch the movie with how to start it from Postman. And uh, here you have all the details how to start it from uh, Postman. And if you have an orchestrator on the premises, you have here how to start it from Postman on prem. Good. Like in all the other movies, all the code will be shared on the um, Christian here on the GitHub. Yeah, so I will give you on the details of the, the movie. We will see the code. Yeah, and here you have the code for ServiceNow, Python, Go, and all the stuff that I created. Good. So, what I do, I have the Node.js um, installed, and here. I will call some comments. First, we will use, let's see here the JavaScript. Like I said, I just want to test this JavaScript and this JavaScript tool, I will, I will use it on other softwares. Because we use HTTP, um, uh, XMLA HTTP request, we need to install this package. Yeah? And to be able to install this package, you have here a comment. Uh, and is this one, yeah? So on uh, command prompt, you need to go and say npm install xmla http request, yeah? So after you install this uh, request, you, the system will be able to work. Good, and then you will say node and run your J, um, uh, JavaScript file. Let's see what I have on the JavaScript file. So I have this one that uh, I have the request. I define the variable which is xmla http request. I send the message for the authentication and then I put a body and then after if I get the, the correct response, I will pass the JSON and from the JSON I will extract the access token. Then this is for starting the process. Yeah, so if I start a simple process, I will put the key of the process and um, strategy all. How to get the key of the process you have the, on the movie with the uh, um, Postman, all the details. And here I start the process, yeah? And the second one will start it with parameters. So let's uh, save it and let's go and just run it. Yeah, you see that I have the, uh, the response from the orchestrator. And let's go on the orchestrator and see the result. You see here that I have MSG param. And the process is running, and we'll see that uh, um, when uh, the process will finish, uh, we will have the logs, yeah? Uh, but remember, all the code will be here on the, um, on the stack, of, on, the, on the GitHub. You will copy paste that idea to see a movie that is working and then you just copy paste the code in, uh, it's in uh, you put it on, on, your, uh, on your system, yeah? Let's see, my robot is a little uh, bit busy. Let's send another refresh and see. Okay, no problem, we don't want to lose the time. So yes, you see that the job was done. And if we see the logs, We'll see him. Hello, start from the orchestrator. Now I will go to the code and 
I will select this one with, um, uh, with parameters. So we say here test YouTube uh, node. Okay, and we'll put that the video it's on uh, 29904, yeah, 29904. We hit save and we'll go here and run again. And if we check on the orchestrator, you see that um, I have the process pending with the um, with the parameters. And we'll see if my robot will be able to to start this process because I see that my robot today it's a little bit slow. Yeah, it's running and it's successful. Yes, let's see. Let's see the. Let's refresh the logs. Uh, I did a full refresh. Let's do a refresh just for the logs. And you see here the parameters. So it's YouTube and so on. Uh, YouTube Live 20, uh, 904. Okay, so that's the idea how to start an. Um, um, a robot from uh, JavaScript, but this is a robot on the orchestrator, and we use this on other software. Yeah, we use this code on, on other software. I will repair it. If you want to start it on a local PC from um, uh, from JavaScript, remember that you have this one, uh, this video that show you how to start um, um, a robot on a local PC with the UiPath as Assistant without orchestrator using RoboJS. That's another story. So thank you very much for watching and um, uh, subscribe to my channel to see other videos and tell me what else you want to see about integration with UAPAT. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.